Remember when environmentalists were all concerned about saving the Amazon rainforest? Considering what a big deal this once was, it seems like it's been a while since we've heard anything about one of the major environmental struggles of the previous millennium. There were t-shirts, bumper stickers, there were even efforts to get people to purchase an acre of the rainforest to protect it. Now sure, we have new crises to worry about. There's climate change, fracking, and the Dakota Pipeline. But what happened to the disappearing rainforest? Did we save the Amazon? For a while, it seemed like we might have. The rates of deforestation in the Amazon climbed in the 1980s and 90s, reaching a peak around 2004, at which point many international organizations and countries acted swiftly to stop what was seen as a global crisis. Not only were thousands of animal species at risk of extinction, but the loss of trees would mean more carbon in the atmosphere. Norway alone funneled a billion dollars to Brazil in order to protect the rainforest in 2008. The Brazilian government also took charge of the issue in the mid-2000s, establishing and enforcing policies to protect its wildest forests against landowners looking to develop it for farming and other uses. And the government protection worked. These successfully established 150 million acres for conservation, and deforestation rates dropped to nearly 80% by 2011 from the peak in 2004. These changes were monumental, and environmentalists around the world heralded Brazil for taking such serious action to save the Amazon. Then, after Dilma Rousseff was elected president in 2010, the Brazilian government decided that saving the rainforest should take a back seat to their economic development. Major changes were made to the forest code, favoring agriculture and industrial interests who wanted to make it easier to cut down the rainforest. And you can guess what happened when the government loosened its grip. Deforestation rates skyrocketed. Two million acres of rainforest were lost between August of 2015 and July of 2016, which was up from 1.5 million acres of the year before. And while Dilma Rousseff was impeached in 2016, her successor is expected to make matters worse for the rainforest. Brazil is facing its worst economic slump since the 1930s, which has led new right-leaning president Michel Temer to favor an agenda that will promote business growth, including appointing an ex-soybean tycoon as agriculture minister. Environmentalists and conservationists fear this will mean more laws currently protecting the Amazon will be overhauled to favor agribusiness. Sure, environmental crises like climate change may be more on your mind than the Amazon, but losing the Amazon actually directly relates to climate change. Some studies show that deforestation in the Amazon might lead to drought in places as far away as California and Texas. Deforestation of tropical rainforests also releases more carbon into the atmosphere annually than the exhaust from cars and trucks combined. It's responsible for about 15% of CO2 emissions globally. This is because trees store so much of the carbon already released into the air that when they're cut down, all that CO2 escapes. So even though it may feel so 2000 to be bringing up saving the rainforest, maybe it's time to go digging in the back of the closet to find that long forgotten, slightly faded, save the rainforest t-shirt.